you see them on the radar, just stop. And I called them up and see what's going on. Next thing you know, they're calling the Coast Guard and stuck on the beach. Some people have to be on the beach, like salvage crews trying to free the Captain Gavin in hard driving rain and unseasonable mid-30 temperatures. It'll be a difficult situation. The commercial salvage, they should be able to, I believe, get them off of here safely. But others want to be on the beach in dreadful conditions to see this scallop ship turned spectacle. I've seen quite a few ships beached here on Point Pleasant Beach. The ship ran aground at 5 a.m. Wednesday, but at 5 p.m. salvage crews were still hard at work. Rope brought out to the beach and tossed to the ship's crew, all to steady the ship on shore. I guess it's about as interesting as a roller coaster in Seaside. Mike Applegate lives on the beach and has worked as a clammer. He thinks the salvage could take a day or two. Heavy equipment will get it ready to be yanked out. People come too close and the battery dies out and you're on shore. One year they had to dismantle a ship down here, totally, like break it apart. Some remember another scallop ship that capsized on the beach in 2011. Crews had to drill giant holes and snake chains through so a crane could lift it off the beach. Nothing like that needed for the Captain Gavin, just a salvage barge to help pull it out. The ship wasn't damaged and could be out to sea soon and hopefully stay there. The ocean is a very scary place. In Point Pleasant Beach, Ranji Sinha, News 12, New Jersey.